Wir wollen so nicht im Prospekt, wir tun hier Urlaub. Wir wollen sind Peace, wir sind stinkt um alle Menschen mit Prinzipien und Tatwort und Schütze aus dem Denken. Wir bleiben nicht hart auf dem Moralischen in unseren Holiday. Nur wer an der Kost läuft, mehr auf ein Schloss gut geht. Und was man in die Brust schießt, ich hab ein Schuss mir. Ich bin so versichert, doch gegen ein Zeit bei ein Leben aus. against Hezbollah, and dozens are killed by a truck explosion in Liberia. Here's Paul Brennan with the FN Fear News. A member of Israel's war cabinet, Benny Gantz, says the country's military could take matters into its own hands if the world and the Lebanese government doesn't do more to stop the militant group Hezbollah from launching attacks on its northern border. The situation on Israel's northern border demands change. The stopwatch for a diplomatic solution is running out. If the world and the Lebanese government don't act in order to prevent the firing on Israel's northern residents and to remove Hezbollah from the border, the IDF will do that. Romania and Bulgaria have reached an agreement with Austria to join the European Union movement by sea and air in March of 2024. The deal was announced by the Romanian government, which said the question of opening land borders had been postponed until discussions to be held next year. Austria vetoed the entry of Romania and Bulgaria to Schengen a year ago, but earlier this month said it was prepared to relax the rules governing air traffic for the two countries if Brussels strengthened the EU's external borders. A fuel truck has crashed and exploded in central Liberia, killing more than 40 people. Eyewitnesses say the stricken tanker exploded when people flocked to the scene to extract petrol. Dozens of people have been treated in hospital for burns. The U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has held talks with the Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador in Mexico City as the growing migration crisis causes chaos on their shared border. Officials said last week that up to 10,000 people were crossing into the United States via that border every day. The BBC's is World Grant is in Mexico City. The news were very much places at all. They were organized pretty hastily between Christmas and New Year. That's unusual in and of itself. We don't know the specifics of exactly what elements of this crisis they spoke about because we weren't allowed to speak to the delegation afterwards. There was no media conference, no press conference. We don't know that there was any major policy decisions reached because they haven't announced any. We find it unlikely that there would have been. But clearly there is bank sitting down face to face between the two sides. There's all this going on at the US border with Mexico. Today's weather still not quite sunny, but there's quite a bit of fog around past the east and south. You can see it here actually. Plenty of increase in western Australia during the course of the day. 